The latest now as a community comes together the day after a Longmeadow shopping plaza was devastated by fire. Today, Armada's market was able to hand out Thanksgiving orders to customers despite their building being destroyed yesterday. And Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis joins us live outside Armada's with the latest. Leon. Chris Jordan, the community is at a loss after what happened to Armada's, but the owners wanted to keep customers' Thanksgiving hopes alive by handing out orders at a nearby senior center. I was like, what, 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 about, what about the fire? Like, are they still going to have the turkey or I don't know. And then your dad said? Uh, no, 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 they still have the turkey, but they're just going to park the truck outside of the building. Alan Stanley Sauce Jr. does not have to worry about what he will have for Thanksgiving. On Wednesday morning, he and his father were still able to pick up the food they ordered from a martyr's market, despite the establishment being destroyed by the fire the day before. Western Mass News found cars lined up outside the Log Meadow Senior Center where Armada's customers were told they could get their food. Yeah, you know, thank God that she would, uh, she put in all the information on the computer and she was able to contact us via phone last night letting us know that our, our turkey was available for pickup and uh, we were excited about that. Armada's had two trucks of food with apple pies, turkeys, and all the fixings. We found one customer who came all the way from Chester to make sure she got her Armada's for Thanksgiving. I've been doing this as long as Armada's first started doing the Thanksgiving meals. After hearing about the fire tearing through Armada's and other businesses in the shopping plaza, Elizabeth Massa, like others, didn't know if Thanksgiving could possibly be the same this year. I was completely devastated because this is a tradition for us. Um, and I honestly didn't know what was going to happen. Coming up tonight on Western Mass News at 6, we hear from the owner of Armada's for the first time and what one state legislator is doing to help the business impacted. For now, live in Longmeadow, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News.